Hi, I'm Erin. I'm True. And this is our, our craft table. table. Even though this isn't very much, a, oh wait, no, we it's our dinner, dinner table. Dinner table. <laughs> <laughs> so today I'm making a recipe that is seriously the best meatball recipe that I have ever had. <laughs> And I take it to potlucks and things like that, and mm -hmm. people always ask me for the recipe. Mm -hmm. And it's super simple to make, um, <clears throat> especially because you use a slow cooker. There's nothing to do. You just put the food in there and wait for it to cook. So the um, really the only thing you have to do is preheat the meatballs, and you don't have to do that. Um, if you if you just put the meatballs in here frozen, that's fine too. But I don't like to do that because I feel like that makes the meatballs kind of spongy. And if you pre-cook the meatballs, they get you know a little bit crispier on the ends, and so they maintain their shape, and they you know they they just stay really nice for the duration of the time that you have them in the slow cooker. Mm -hmm. So True is going to help me because she loves this recipe. Koi loves this recipe. Yes. Um, when I put the meatballs in the oven, Koi smelled the meatballs and he wanted to eat them. And I said, no, oh, they're for the recipe I'm making. And he said, are you making the meatballs that you make? And I said, yeah, and he got all excited. So they're very good. <laughs> Thank you. So let me go get what the meatballs. What are they actually called? They, called? they oh, I should thank you. They're called Bavarian, Bavarian. meatballs. Bavarian. And I should have said that. They're called Bavarian meatballs. I got the recipe off of um, a website years ago, but I played around with it a little bit and changed it. So it's it, it's uh, it's it's just a little bit different um, because this one has a lot more meatballs in it and it has um, uh, pineapple juice in it instead of water. So maybe what I should give you is the um, the yeah. recipe right now, and then I'll get the meatballs. So first of all, you need um, 32 to 40 ounces of meatballs. I usually buy my packs in the 16 ounce packs, but when I went to the store yesterday, I saw they had the 20 ounce packs, so I got those. You know, there's always plenty of sauce. I'm not worried that there's not going to be enough sauce. And then what makes them Bavarian is the Bavarian style sauerkraut. It has to be Bavarian style because it has the caraway seeds in it. What's that? Um, these little black seeds right here. See. Those oh. little things right there. I have never noticed that. Yeah. So th those are in there. <laughs> yeah, it smells kind of strong, <laughs> but it smells really good when it's cooking. Um, so you need what? How much is this? That was really gross. <laughs> I didn't intentionally smell it. I was just breathing. I was like, what the heck is that? And I smelled it intentionally. I was like, what? <laughs> Please don't smell sauerkraut. It's really a horrible smell. I'm sorry. But it's just, it is a horrible smell. It's not that bad. I don't like. I'm sensitive to some smells. She is. So I have two 15 ounce cans of the Bavarian sauerkraut. And then, then why did you upside down? It, the label is upside down, actually. Oh, it is? Oh. Yeah. And then so she has, that was, what was the size of that? I put it on my phone. Is it, it's 14 ounces? Yeah, 14 ounces of, of cranberry. Whole, but it has to be whole cranberry sauce because like you want the pieces of. I just put the cranberry sauce. Okay, cranberry sauce now. Sauerkraut. Instead of water. <laughs> this is 20 I, ounces. Yeah, so I got 20 ounces. Usually I get the pineapple chunks, Found but I accidentally got the ounce. slices, but that doesn't make a difference. I like it's not going to make a difference in the taste. Yeah. Have you ever had warm pineapple? It's really good. Yes, it's so good. So let me get the meatballs. <laughs> it's weird, like oh. actually warm pineapple. And half a cup of brown sugar. Oh, they smell so good. I just want to eat them right now. For the rest of me. Also, this takes three hours to cook, <laughs> which sucks because I wanted to eat this half. And it's worth it. It's worth the wait. Okay, so again, okay. that's 40 ounces of meatballs. You can use like 36, anywhere in between. You can use way less if you want to, but you'll have a whole lot of yeah. stuff left over. You don't really have to mix it up that much because the oh wait we never the um oh and the oh I totally forgot about the chili sauce. chili sauce. Twelve ounces of chili sauce. Sometimes I have trouble finding 
the chili sauce bits always buy the ketchup. So, um... How many ketchup on here? Well... Okay, different stores? Yeah, I guess I shouldn't say that, so never mind. <laughs> so I plug in my slow cooker. And, um, the original recipe called for four hours on medium heat. But my slow cooker doesn't have medium, it has high, low, and keep warm. So I do one hour on high, and then two hours on low, and that works every time. And I also use a slow cooker bag because this is kind of a mess to clean up without. And it's really sticky. Yeah, it can get sticky, so help yourself out if you can by using a slow cooker bag. But yeah, that's it. So we'll see you guys in three hours. Three Goodbye! Hours. Three hours later. And we're back. And it's been three hours. It smells so good in here, right? It smells really good. So I can see that everything is cooked down and just gotten nice and bubbly. I didn't even have to stir it. Everything just kind of melts together by itself. You don't have to touch it. So now comes the moment of truth. I'm gonna go in there, grab a meatball, and we're gonna do a little taste test. It's super hot, it's super hot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna wait a minute. But normally you bring this to a potluck, they are gone. By the end. Definitely by the end. Maybe before that too. I have a couple of go-to potluck recipes. This is definitely one of them when I have to bring a meat dish. <laughs> you made it! <laughs> I don't know. I have to blow my because it's so hot. hot. But um right now we're just gonna eat it with some brown rice and some veggies. I'll Yum. put a little picture. Boy, maybe you can put one like right here when I take a picture. So, <laughs> well, put it on a little Christmas plate so we can be all Christmassy. But, um, you know, I think it's just a nice addition to a potluck table. Not bringing it to my potluck this week at work. I'm doing something different. Maybe I'll share that recipe too. It's a candy recipe. It's actually something I've never done before, so I might be taking a chance sharing it. <laughs> but it probably will be good. So, anyway, let me taste it. Sweet and sour and tangy. Mm. Mm. That's so good. So we're gonna go eat now. Thank you so much for watching. We really appreciate it. And until next time, bye bye.